Hello, welcome to this presentation about the American Board of Internal Medicine Certification and Maintenance of Certification Program. My name is uh, Henry Ting. I'm a cardiologist from the Mayo Clinic, and I'll be presenting this um, slide set for you. Um, as far as disclosures, uh, I am currently the uh, chair of the American College of Cardiology Education and Quality Review Board. I also serve on the American Board of Internal Medicine Maintenance of Certification Product Oversight Committee. The relevant certifications for, for cardiovascular diseases include internal medicine, which started in 1936, cardiovascular diseases, clinical cardiac electrophysiology, interventional cardiology, advanced heart failure and transplant cardiology, and adult congenital heart disease, which is currently proposed uh, but not operationalized yet. So let's review the current ABIM, American Board of Internal Medicine, certification requirements. There are four specific time periods um, which we will be talking about. Um, before 1990, this was the era of certification alone. From 1990 to 2006, this was the area of recertification. From 2006 until the end of 2013, this has been known the area of maintenance of certification, or MOC. And in January 2014, there'll be changes to the maintenance of certification program from the American Board of Internal Medicine that we'll be discussing. These are the four parts of the maintenance of certification program. Part one refers to licensure and professional standing. This is maintaining your medical license in each state that you practice in, as well as accruing sufficient CME credit. Part three is actually the secure examination that you're required to take every 10 years as part of the MOC um, program. Parts two and four were new in the maintenance of certification program in 2006. Part two is referred to as the self-evaluation of medical knowledge and refers to uh, completing um, medical ch uh, multiple choice modules to demonstrate your medical knowledge on updates in cardiovascular diseases. Part four is referred to as a self-evaluation of practice performance and is otherwise known as put doing a quality improvement project or assessing the quality of your practice. Now I'm going to discuss the changes to the maintenance of certification program that are upcoming and will be implemented by the American Board of Internal Medicine in 2014. As far as the uh, MOC points, um, to participate, to successfully be meeting MOC requirements, each physician has to accrue or accumulate 100 points now every five years. 20 points have to be for part two, maintenance of certification, which is the medical knowledge self-assessment. 20 points has to be for part four, which is the practice performance self-assessment or the quality improvement project. And again, 60 points could be either for part two or part four MOC activity. In addition, each of will be required to complete a patient safety module and a patient survey module every five years. Further, in order to be meeting MOC requirements, every physician has to demonstrate some activity within this space, part two, part four, patient safety module or patient survey module every two years in order to be meeting MOC requirements. I'm going to talk about specific segments uh, of our uh, ACC membership. So specifically, what does this, uh, this updated MOC requirements in 2014 mean to you? Well, for the grandparents, those who certified before 1990, first of all, you will remain board certified. That's not being taken away from you. Second of all, on January 1, 2014, the new MOC requirements apply to you as well. In order to be reported by the American Board of Internal Medicine as meeting MOC requirements, you will need to, one, activate your MOC program on the American Board of Internal Medicine website by March 31st, 2014, so within three months. You will need to complete an MOC activity every two years and earn 100 MOC points for part two and part four every five years. You will need to complete your patient survey and patient safety modules every five years, and you will be required to pass the secure maintenance of certification exam by December 31st, 2023, which is with, within 10 years of signing up for the MOC program. For those of you who, are, who certified after 1990 are currently in the maintenance of certification programs and cycles, what does the new updates mean to you? Well, first of all, you'll be required to finish out your individual 10-year MOC cycles for Part 2 and Part 4, 
that you're already, already enrolled in. Some of you may be enrolled in year one, some of you may be enrolled in year nine of that cycle, but you will be expected to complete that 10-year cycle. And you will be expected to uh, take the secure MOC exam at 10 years. Uh, any points earned after January 1, 2014, MOC points, will be applied to those you need to maintain your existing certification as well as to be meeting MOC requirements. So therefore, the new meeting MOC requirements implemented in January 2014 also apply to you. So for those of you that are currently in the MOC cycles, you will be asked to fulfill both your current 10-year MOC cycle as well as the new MOC requirements um, implemented in January 2014. So again, to be meeting MOC requirements as of January 2014, these are identical to what's expected of the grandparents, which means number one, activate your MOC program if you're not already currently enrolled by March 31st, 2014. Complete an MOC activity every two years and earn 100 MOC points every five years. Complete your patient safety and survey module every five years and pass the MOC exam every 10 years. What about the new graduates? For those of you who will be newly certified on or after January 1, 2014, this is what the new MOC requirements mean to you. First of all, when you certify for cardiovascular diseases or one of the subspecialty certificates and qual added qualifications, your board certification will not have an end date. And if you pass the exam, you will be, sort of, you will be certified without an end date. The new meeting MOC requirements apply to you after you achieve board certification. And to be reported as meeting MOC requirements, you will have the same four requirements expected of the grandparents and those who are currently in the MOC cycles already. Again, activate your MOC program, complete an MOC activity every two years, and earn 100 MOC points every five years, complete the patient survey and patient safety module every five years, and pass your MOC exam every 10 years. So again, um, during this presentation, we reviewed uh, the ABIM certification requirements from the different areas of certification, recertification, maintenance of certification, and the new changes to the maintenance of certification program that will be implemented by the American Board of Internal Medicine in January of 2014. So to summarize these changes that will be uh, affecting all of us uh, as of January 1, 2014, the term board certification or being board certified refers to passing the initial certification examination. Meeting MOC requirements is a new designation and applies to everyone, grandparents, those who currently are in MOC cycles, and the new graduates who are being certified for the first time. The designation for meeting MOC requirements include, first, completing an MOC activity every two years. Second, earning 100 MOC points for part two and part four every five years. And number three, passing, uh, completing the patient safety and patient survey modules every five years. Also, you'll be required to pass the MOC exam every 10 years. Thank you much, very much for your attention and time. Um, this was intended to give you an update of the current maintenance and certification program from the American Board of Internal Medicine, as well as to provide you the updates and the new policies that will be implemented by the American Board of Internal Medicine on January 1, 2014. On behalf of the American College of Cardiology and the Education and Quality Review Board, we'll be working closely with you and helping you navigate these waters as new updates become available, we'll be sure to provide them to you. Thank you very much.